G'day guys. Today I'm gonna to do a follow-up video on my Faraday cage. I'm gonna detail some of the components I used to construct it to hopefully give you a better idea into how to construct one yourself. So before I constructed it, I had a few issues that I could see. I had to have it quite strong, but also lightweight. And I also needed a way to mount it to the actual ceiling or to the projector mount itself. So there are a few options I could have chosen to construct the actual frame itself that the wire hangs from. But in the end, I thought the easiest and quickest for me at the time was just using craft wood or balsa wood. So I went down to my local hardware store and I picked up about eight lengths of this craft wood. I got home, I, I measured uh, how big, how wide and how deep I needed the frame to be. And then I just cut the bits of wood down to size and super glued them together. All in all, the frame took about 30 minutes to actually construct. And then I had to come up with some sort of mounting solution. So for me, because my garage track runs uh, down, the, down the length of the garage, as you can see, I couldn't have anything connected to the roof because I can still open my garage door if I need to and not worry about it hitting the projector or the actual Faraday cage itself. The easiest option for me was to attach it to the uh, projector mount. I came up with this solution here, which isn't elegant, but it works for now until I can get something down the road uh, later on that looks a bit better, but it serves its purpose. Once I had that all sorted, I let it sit overnight just for the super glue to cure. So from there, all that was left to do was to actually put the wire mesh around the frame. All I used was the mesh itself and I just bent it around the edges of the balsa wood, just being gentle not to actually break it. And then later on, I actually attached some wire just to kind of hold it in place once I, I saw that it worked. And that's about it guys, really. Like I said, the, the hardest thing for me was sourcing the actual mesh. So I had to end up getting it from, uh, from eBay. In Australia, it's quite hard to come by the one mil mesh. And if you do buy it in country, it's quite expensive. I'll put a, a screenshot now of the mesh that I used. In the States, you probably got this stuff at your local uh, hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot, and it's probably really easy and cheap to come by. Hope this helped. If you've got any questions, let me know. Cheers, catch you in the next one.